Hey, thanks for tuning in to another Tax Syndicate production. In this tutorial video, I'm going to cover how to create a Google Routing API key so you can use the Google Routing with the Vehicle Navigation plugin, aka the VNS plugin in ATAC. If you haven't already watched my other video on how to use the Vehicle Navigation System plugin for ATAC, be sure to check that out. In that video, I showcase how the VNS plugin can be used for online and offline routing. Some things have changed since I made that video, and now you're required to have your own API key for online routing. In this video, I'll start by showing you how to set up a Google Cloud account, enable the API, and then how to add the API key in the VNS plugin. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is open up a browser and get to the cloud.google.com web address. You can see that I've got it open here. From here, you need to create an account. Google gives you a $300 credit for setting up the account. Every time you use this API, it does cost money, but it's fractions of a penny. So I already have an account and we'll log in. All right, I've got logged in and now I wanna click on go to console. A couple ways you can get there. You can go on the left, go to console. On the upper right, you can just click on the console. And now we have to create a project. We can click create or select a project. And you can see some other projects that I've that I've had on here. Um, but when you log in for the first time, you're not going to see that. So you're going to click new project. And we're going to call this ATAC VNS. You do not have to put anything in here in the um, location. You can just hit create. And now it's creating the project for you. Now we're going to click on the dashboard. Hit Cloud Overview, hit Dashboard, and you can see um, you've got this new project that you've just accessed. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to scroll down to this Getting Started area and click on Explore and Enable APIs. There, we're going to click on Enable APIs and Services. And now we're going to search for an API called Routes. And there it is, the Routes API. We'll click on that. And we want to click on Enable. It's going to ask to set the billing account for this project. Choose my billing account, set account. All right, then it's going to move you over to this uh, Google Maps platform. All right. Um, you can choose the, the default settings. I would uh, let you know when you're about to exceed monthly Google Maps credits. Again, these are fractions of a cent every time you use it. Um, you will need this API key, so you're going to hit copy to clipboard and then just click on go to Google Maps platform. Um, I don't use any separate restriction, but there's options for restrictions. If you'd like, you can hit maybe later. And so I've copied that, um, that uh, API key and we're going to need it for ATAC. So the next thing um, you're going to do is go over and open up Drive. Open up your Google Drive because you need to get that uh, API, key, API key into ATAC. So I come over here. I'm just going to click a new Google Doc. And I'm going to call it VNS API key. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the API key here. And now that that's done, 
um, it's saving on the um, um, on the drive, and so I can open that up later from um, my Android device. So I can close that out. And now I'm going to switch over to ATAC, and uh, we'll see it from kind of the Android side and uh, load the API key. Now we're over on ATAC, and we're going to add the API key. First, I want to show you that we do not have that API key installed and that we don't have any offline routing capability on the device. I want you to watch that other video that I have on VNS so you understand what offline routing capability does. But I just want to prove to you that, hey, we don't have any of that stuff installed. So um, it's just using um, what's uh, in the device. So we can go up and first um, go through here and let's click on VNS and you can see that, hey, I, I don't have any offline regions installed. So there's no cheat in there. Um, now let's go to um, settings and we'll do a search up here for VNS and VNS preferences and we'll scroll down to Google API key and you can see there's no Google API key right now. So we'll back out of here and now let's uh, go over to the Bonnie Fire. All right, now we're on the Bonnie Fire and we're going to use the routes plugin and we're going to force it to use the Google routing, but you'll see without a valid API key, it's not going to work. You're just going to get a straight line. So I'm going to go over here and open up uh, the routes plugin. And one thing I want to um, make clear is that the vehicle navigation system plugin allows this to bring in uh, the Google API. Um, it's the routes tool that you're using to enable uh, this navigation. All right, so I want to hit, I want to build a new route, hit plus. I want to choose driving, and I'm going to use automatic planner. And it's looking at my address now, but we're going to use it like we're on a fire. We're going to hit this little target here, and I'm going to say, hey, I'm out here at drop point 15 off of Cary Road. And now I want to navigate all the way to drop point 2. And I'm gonna choose Google Routing. I'm gonna hit Create. And right now you can see, hey, this unexpected error popped up. It's just this straight line and nothing's working. All right, now we're gonna load the Google API key and you'll see what you, the, the difference is. So to get that Google API key, first thing I wanna do is just go over here to Settings. And we can hear it do this uh, search for VNS, VNS preferences, and the Google API key. All right, ATAC's ready to go. Now I'm gonna do app switcher, go to my Google Drive, and remember before on, on, the, uh, on my Mac, on the browser, we put that VNS API key in a Google Doc. So I'm gonna go over here. Now I'm just gonna select all this, hit copy, and now app switch back to ATAC, and now I'm gonna copy and paste that in here, and hit OK. And now, all right, we've got the Google uh, API key in. Now I'm gonna make another route. And now let's do that same route. We'll make a new one. We're gonna use Automatic Planner again. And now I'm gonna go put that right by here. And we'll go from drop, drop point 15 back to drop point two. And I'm going to use Google Routing, and I'm going to hit Create. Now you can see that it made this route. And we'll change the color on it real quick. We can um, change the color to make it yellow, or even better. We'll make it uh, like orange. And now you can see this route on the map. How it comes up? It's using the actual roads, the road system, and not just this straight line. So if you've loaded VNS before and you're going, what? Why isn't this working in, anymore? It's because back in the day, we used to have uh, this API key that came with the plugin, and that's no longer supported. Each agency or each person. I would say each person, each entity that wants to use this with the Google needs to set up their own developer account and put their own API key in. So now we've um, 
we've you know is to to kind of go back we have created a google developer account we've made a new project um, we've enabled the api and now we've put that api key in atac and now we've used it so now let's go back to google and let's see um the traffic on our um, dashboard and you'll see that call that made that went through one thing i wanted to add is each person does not have to add this api key if you've watched my video before on how to use pref files in atac once you create once you've put this api key in once and now you make a pref file for your device and you share that pref file out that Google API key will come with it. So that's a great way to share that across your organization. You may have all these different settings in a in kind of a, a device that's the clone device. You create this pref file, you load another device, and boom, they'll have this uh, Google API key. All right, so we're back on um, my Mac, and we've got Chrome open, and we're in the Google Cloud Console. So now let's check out the, pro the project and we'll see that um, the traffic we're getting from ATAC into the Google Cloud. So I can go to my dashboard. We've got this ATAC uh, VNS project here. And now let's go down to, um, let's look at you know, what's going on on the, on the, on the back end. So we'll go to our API overview. And let's look at the routes API. Let's look over the last hour. And here it is. Here is, uh, it's 521 right now. Um, and you can see right before 520 um, that we got a request that it's coming across. All right, so um, if you ever want to know like, hey, how much is this costing me? This is, um, I believe, on the billing. You can go to and sort of see what sort of traffic you're at. Again, I would uh, keep that. Um, right now, I've got, you know, doesn't cost me a, a cent yet, but um, I would keep that. Remember, you get two hundred dollars a month of credit before it starts billing you. So I would definitely. Um, have that setting check where it emails you uh, when you've exceeded that. So um, I hope this video was helpful, um, especially for those folks that had VNS plug in before and then it just stopped working. Um, you know, that was due to the original API key um, that was not valid anymore and they're forcing everybody to, build, to use their own API key. So you can set this up for your agency. Um, and share it out with a profile and have uh, Google routing um, in ATAC. Thanks for watching.